Hi everyone, in this task you will be checking leap year. The task description says write a program that takes a year as an input from the user and displays to the user if that year represents a leap year or not. So pause the video, attempt the task, I'm sure you're going to do awesome and after three seconds you're going to see my solution. So, how was the task? I'm sure you did great. In case you were not familiar with the leap year, which I highly doubt it, you could have checked Google to see what a leap year is and what is actually the criteria for a year to pass as a leap year. So, in the solution, uh, first off, I'm going to go over this idea. So, a leap year is exactly divisible by four, except for century years. Century years are the years which end with double O. For example, 2000 is a century year, 3000 is a century year, 1900 is a century year. The century year is a leap, is leap year only if it is perfectly divisible by 400. So we are talking about perfect division, so we are going to use the modulo operator. So first uh, I'm going to say int input, uh, we are going to say enter a year. When the user has entered the year first, we are going to check if it is perfectly divisible by 4. So if year is perfectly divisible by 4, it means the remainder is 0, then we are going to check, basically this is going to be a nested conditional. So when it passes that, now we need to have some sort of year in mind. And for that to work properly, I'm going to comment that part out and I'm going to actually create another year variable because I need to show you as we are working through this. So we are going to use the error pulse so you really understand because the logic tends to be a little bit confusing at first. So in here we are going to check if year is perfectly divisible by 100. If it is perfectly divisible by 100 it means that it is a century year. So I'm going to pass this as 2000. So we know 2000 is perfectly divisible by 4 and it is perfectly divisible by 100. Then we want to check, because it's a century year, we need to check if it is perfectly divisible by 400. Then it is going to be a leap year. So we are going to say print. I'm just going to say leap year. Else we are sure that it is not a leap year. So we are going to say not a leap year. And uh, the else statement to this, so if it passes the 4 test, but it does not pass the 100 test, it means that it is not a century year and we do not need to check for 100. And basically when it passes the 4 test, the perfect division by 4, it is a leap year. So we are going to say else any year that does not pass the 100 test, it actually is a leap year. So leap year, and eventually any year that does not pass this test, this perfect division by 4, we know for sure that that is not a leap year. So I'm going to say print not, not a leap year. Perfect. So we can see that 2000 is actually a leap year. I'm going to grab the calculator. <laughs> Uh, for this so let me just close that calculator so let's let's actually take a look at this how this actually works so we have 2000 so first we need to check if 2000 is perfectly divisible by 4 so 2000 we know that it, it is perfectly divisible by 4 so we do not go to this else clause you save that so we come inside this if statement then we need to check if 2000 is perfectly divisible by 100 because we know that this is a century year we know that but the application doesn't know it so 2000 if it passes this test the second test it means that it is a century year if it is perfectly divisible by 100 it means that it is a century year so 100 we got 20 so it is a century year now we need to check for century years we need to check if it is perfectly divisible by 400 so 2000 divided by 400 you can see that we got 5 so that's why this 
leap year has been printed because it says that it is perfectly divisible by that. And this leap year is actually not coming from here. It is by, but coming from here. I can prove it to you. Century. I can say century. And let's save that. And um, if it is perfectly divisible by 400, we say century leap year. Why is not? Why is it coming from here? Because it is passing this test. Wow. Oh yeah, it is coming from there. Uh, let me think for a second. So we have if so it it did pass this test, and it was two thousand. So it did pass. Oh, this is because it's incomplete. We need to say if it is equal to zero and it is equal to zero. Now you can see that it's a century year because I was correct. Uh, not a century, century leap, but is a leap year. I'm just trying to prove something here. So you can see that this print statement comes from here because it went through these successive divisions, perfect divisions. And if it does not go through that, for example, if you pass in 1900, it is going to say not a leap year, not a sen uh, century leap year. And because the print statement is actually coming from here, because 1900 is perfectly divisible by 4, and also 1900 is perfectly divisible by 100 but when it comes to 400 it is not perfectly divisible by that so 1900 divided by 4, 400 you can see we got some decimal points which means that there is some sort of remainder the remainder is not zero that's why this print statement is actually being printed so with this our application or our task comes to an end let me remove this century and let me correct this one. I'm sure we got this correctly. So uh, let, let us check this uh, the way that our application has to work. So I'm just going to save this. Let's open up terminal. Let's grab this. So if I pass in 2012, it is a leap year. If I pass in 2013, it is not a leap year. If I pass in 1800, not a leap year. 3000, it's a, not a leap year. 4,000, it is a leap year. Let's say 1556. Oh, wow. I, I thought it wasn't a leap year, but it is a leap year. That's it for this task. See you in the next one.